Okay, hello. Today we will be recording our group discussion video two. And my name is Sabrina Mindy Abbas with matrix number 207.32. Okay, next person. My name is Nurizati Unti Zainal Abidin with matrix number 207.647. Next. Hi, my name is Farah Hanania Bin Kizad with metric number 05341. Next. Hi, hi my everyone. name is. Okay, okay, sorry. Uh, hi, everyone. My name is Nuraini Binti Mokta with matrix number 205304. Proceed to gun. Hi everyone, my name is Gan Rishi, matrix number 207301. Okay, and last. Hi everyone, uh, my name is Nurelia Sophia Binti Wangazamani, my matrix number is 206958. Okay, so on today's video, we'll be reciting a poem from group one, which is the global issue is on pollution. And so we will start with Farah Hanania. So the title of this poem is um, What do we do to Mother Earth? We put in peril yet to preserve. We shall face into the sea. We wound the water, the turtle, the fish. We ignite the trees to the ground. We threaten the air, harming all, including the crown. The air we breathe, the water we need, all be float. All mystery, it hurts all humans, young and old. It cripples all animals, pure and cold. It shatters all plants, green and blue. All in pain, all rotten, all weak. Why? Owing to what we did. When we ask ourselves who shall be blamed, our fingers always denies the main. O oh, humans, power and O oh, humans, dear rulers. Greet by power and fame, ignorance blinds the eyes such shame. We say our hands creates for the greater good, but nature gets nothing that it deserves. By dirty hands for an easy way out, closed eyes, closed ears, as long as the money flows. The bitter truth to a darkened heart. The only loophole amidst this madness and this destruction is only to listen more to the cry of Mother Earth to care and cherish, paying attention to every drop. Factories and machines, dear farmers and cultivators, watch where the waste flow, let it not be the river, let it stay away from the stream. There are ways better than this. With this hand we destroy, and only by this hand will nature be healed. All right, so that is our first poem for today. So next we will discuss uh, deeper more on this poem. So who wants to share their thoughts on the meaning or? Uh, at, at a glance, I say the sentence structure is rather well laid out. Although I would say that the rhyming isn't quite, it doesn't quite match up to say that uh, I don't really know how, to, know how to describe the rhyming of the words, but it just doesn't how to say sound that correct? Uh, I mean, it, 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 it is a good poem overall because of the sentence structure, how the words all line up. It's just the rhyming of the specific words chosen. I, oh. I really don't know how to describe it. I'm sorry. Okay, I understand. It's okay. So, anyone have other thoughts on this poem? On Okay, like Gan, you said about the rhyming of the poem. Um, I think it is indeed a very well written poem. Uh, I like the uh, the word that you guys choose to write the poem, as uh, from the word choice itself, we know that the word can affect affect the tone of the imagery. So, um, like you guys did. Uh, it has the tone 
I uh, know it's me. It has a really great tone for the stanza uh, every line. Uh, and and I like the usage of the um explicit explicit term. Uh the last word. Uh, the word uh with the hand will destroy and by this hand the nature will help heal. Wow. I like that one. Okay, thank you. That's good. Um so should we discuss the meaning of this poem first? Yes. Yes. Okay, so we'll speak the title first, The Wounded Gem. So what is your first impression when you see this title? Something that is nice but it's broken. Yeah, okay. That's good. Yes. Something that is actually beautiful but it seems to be mm -hmm. misused or in pain. Okay, so mm -hmm. we'll so we'll move on to the first few stanzas. Okay, um who um who would like to share the meaning of you know, the first few stanzas? Uh, the first few stanzas just seem to describe uh, the actions of humanity towards nature and a quick summary of the effects of the actions of humanity towards nature. Okay, yes, true. It's about the sceneries of what we could see from, from yeah, what we could see that what humans do and what affects it. So, so this was the first few stanzas was written by Hananya. So would you like to elaborate more on your uh, few stanzas? So this stanza um, told about that we put earth in danger, but we that we, we put earth in danger, uh, but we should take care of it. But we put earth in the danger. Uh, okay. So, uh, next is, is, so the next part will be uh, mine, which is when we ask ourselves who shall be blamed. Uh, starting from this stanza, I would like to elaborate more on the causes of, in this poem, is about pollution. So I, so we all know the main reason of pollution happens is not because of animals or even plants. It's all due to humans' actions, like what we do to Mother Earth. So I, um, I would like to say that in this poem, in this stanza, we tend to be blinded by power and, and our own selfishness that you know how we, what you call that, um, what benefits us, but not others, like, more likely it's about money, so yes. So that's my part, and last is Izaki's part. Uh, so for my part, I am writing for the solution of uh, this issue, which is pollution, right? Uh, in this, the point that I really want to bring out and state here is the realization and the awareness of oneself. Like, have you ever heard the quote, like, everyone thinking of changing the world, but no one ever think of changing oneself, a man, right? So I think what's most important in order to solve this issue is to aware, aware of this uh, pollution that happening, how it treat, how it treat, um, thread the which I'm, thread the whole future of our generation, and also want to calling out to the uh, larger uh, organization, larger uh, bodies like factories, also machines, the farmers, the cultivators who mostly the one who uh, lead to this uh, pollution to see that stream and the beauty of river is there is not to be tamed 
tainted by our action, but to be kept its beauty, to be uh, cherished and to be res uh, preserved for many years to come. Yes, so we have discussed the, the meaning of the poem, the words choice used. So how about the poem? Is it if, how does it affect the topic that we chose? Does it suit the topic or does it goes a little off? What are your opinions? I think it's pretty bang on on the topic of audition. It accurately um, describes it from start to finish, the whole problem. Okay, next. I also agree with uh, Gan uh, It really is suitable with the title, as you mentioned, about the earth and the water, all of that. Listen. Yeah, do you have any thoughts on this poem? No, I, I, am, I, just, I have just the same thought as them. Yes, that's all. All right. So this is our first poem for our discussion. Is that all? Can I add some? Yeah, sure. This is me. Yeah, for me, I think when I read this poem, I feel like I feel guilty because, yeah, as a human, like we do we we. You know, um, we we cause the pollution, so like we can't really deny it. So yeah, that's true. Uh, when I wrote this poem, I feel I feel the same, and I feel like we could actually do better. We should change ourselves yeah. first, and we always ex like um Izati says we always expect like other other things to change, but not ourselves first. I think it should start from an individual. Do you agree with my opinions? Yes. Yes, I agree. <laughs> yes. I also want to add a bit for me, man, because I write on the solution, so I write to me uh, when writing personally my part, I feel like sort of enlightenment because I, ha I have hope because I read writing the solution, right? So I kind of have hope that people one day, people will change to the better. People will at least open their eyes because like poetry, like what we do now is words that touch the soul, right? So these words hopefully will reach many of souls out there and speak when it is put together, also this poem, it is written together as a whole, it feel a lot more like a roller coaster of emotion. You feel ups and downs of the, the poem. You really feel the word actually dances and it really bring out the, the desperation for a change in this, in this poem. And I really like, like what Hanania and Sabrina do with their part. Their words are so, so... They bring so much richness to this poem, diversity of words. They, some words I seriously doesn't like never even know existed. And I see it today. And it's really opened my mind and I really could learn a lot from them. Lah. That's all. Um, okay, regarding the word choice that we chose, uh, is there any words that you find like you know you've never heard of it before or you think like we should discuss this meaning of the words? Uh, one yeah. word I would like to note in particular is the word loophole. I actually think its usage in this specific line is not quite suitable because loophole, it typically refers to a way to bypass a law. Uh, oh, for, that, for that part, I, I read it loophole. Uh, when, I, when I read it, I, I put it like, and escape lah, but oh, it's okay. I, I maybe we, we could change some of the wording to say it more. Okay, okay, it's a, a good 
it's a good try. We can discuss this. But so far as uh, as we all know, usually poems, poetry, sometimes the words may may seem a little off. I don't know, but I've through my recent yes, we we'll often see it though. Like it doesn't suit, but that's the unique part of each poem. Mm -hmm. The explicit it's behind fake. it, you know, like some sometimes it doesn't make sense. Like why did they what did, what are they thinking of? But yes. when you go through deeper, they actually have a maybe double meaning or and such like that. Am I right? Uh, have you? Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Have yeah. You? yeah. Okay. Good. Um, I want to ask one word that I say I never seen in my life. Uh, the word "peral." I think it's pronounced "peral," like from the second line. We put "peral," yeah. Paris, Paris. Yeah. We put in Paris, Paris. yeah, to preserve. Oh, Paris. Paris. Okay. Like we put the earth in danger. Uh, I think we should just move on to the next poem. Um, there's only one poem to do. Uh -uh. Oh, 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 right, right. Right, so is that all of our discussion? Yeah, we have to keep the video to 15 minutes, right? Okay, all right. So, and I'll stop recording. Oh, yeah.